Hey everyone, welcome to part 5 of the C17 uh, build series. Uh, I'm gonna go now. All right, four motors are installed, connected. We just uh, check the CG, so we know where the batteries are going to be. And as uh, uh, I was hoping for, that the batteries are going to be here in this area. And because of these four motors uh, in front of the CG, they really helped uh, balance in it. So now I will cut the hatch. Uh, it's, it's a big hatch, but we need it because I want to have, you know, beautiful board under that with four ASCs and all the electronics. I'm very excited. All right. Alright, so I just made this. This is the nose gear and uh, this is just temporary. It's not retractable because we will finish the plane and we will be able to fly the plane before we even have the, the landing gear, the scale landing gear for it, which is retractable and all that. It's being made right now and we don't really know when it's gonna be ready. And so I made this and for the mains as well, tomorrow we will put just some aluminum brackets and just mount four wheels on it. This is here we have a strut from another project that we never used. It's actually amazing, but unfortunately we cannot, uh, you know, use it to, and it's, it's a bit bigger than uh, we need for the C17. My goal is to keep the same thing. So I sent this mount design to the designer of the landing gear. They are being made in Germany. And so I will just send him this design so he can hopefully base his design on that so I don't have to cut this out from the fuse. And here, this is the main board. This is sandwiched carbon, uh, super light material and super tough. Central box and the electron controllers here. We might need to put another one for the brakes. And we still don't know how the gear will operate, but probably it's gonna be also operated by electron controllers. And uh, yeah, this is uh, just one ESC. We have those 400 amps ESC for these massive EDFs. And I'm gonna put four in here. And this board is going to be glued inside the fuselage. And yeah, hopefully this will be, uh, this will be good. We can, uh, we can taxi it, we can fly it with this uh, landing gear for now. All 
right, look at this. The nose gear is in, and this whole mount inside is not going anywhere. I love this. And these are some of the connections I made. This is going all the way for the tail. I have five wires in here, uh, two stab uh, three stabilizers, and one is gonna be the lights, and uh, we put an extra one in there. We can use it for GPS, for a receiver, for anything where we want. These are going to the wings. There's still one uh, wire missing. This is uh, will be for the lights. These connectors are the QS8 V2, and they are rated for, I think, up to 600 amps. So we're good in here. And these wires here are going to be connected between the ESCs, so uh, they will be bridged. This means uh, motor one and two are going to be connected together and three and four also together so if one battery dies from one of the motors the other battery will supply power for it so we don't lose thrust on one side uh, i always bridge those escs and that's why these are just 10 gauge uh, wires uh, more than enough so now i'm ready to install the board but before that i needed to finish the hatch because there will be some cuts on top of this board so i thought i installed this finish it then I can proceed with the board itself because this one is going to be glued and the other part is going to be removable but this will be glued so when I put this in it's in so these are the hinges <laughs> they are actually big and this is six millimeters carbon and yeah I need it to be big so this hatch will open around 120 degrees which is great I'm still uh, we're still looking for some kind of latch for here so can you know click close and a button or something to open it anyways I'll wait for this to cure and then I will glue it in the fuselage and hopefully we will have a functional hatch all right Right, and we have landing gear, kind of. <laughs> this is just, we made an aluminum frame and we screwed those wheels on them. These are air inflated wheels from Electron and they have magnetic brakes that they run on to up to 26 volts. They are really good brakes, so it's really strong. Like I could sit on that one and that would be my, uh, my next uh, thing I wanna do. I wanna sit on this plane and taxi around. And so now we will assemble the whole thing and I'll connect the wings and uh, hook the ACs. We're still looking for uh, a latch here. The latch has to be really uh, strong because if this thing opens midair, it's a catastrophe. 
uh, we'll hook all this and then we will take it out and um, try those CDFs and maybe taxi it a bit. Uh, but honestly, the plane is uh, almost ready to fly. So, main flight is very soon, guys. How cool is that? All right, everything is connected and uh, ready. And those wheels, actually, they look so funny on it. Now looking at it, but uh, they are actually solid. They're good just for now. So we can take it out, taxi it. And I want to sit on it and drive it around. That will look funny. So we we'll plug it in and uh, take it out to the runway and do some taxi testing. All right. Is that clear? <laughs> no, it's not clear. It is, it is, it is. Oh my god. Okay, we will stop. Stop, this is hitting. Yeah. Yeah, okay, let's go. That's it. I'll talk to Frank. Oh my god, it's very good. It's such an important. Okay, that's good. That's massive. That's massive. Yeah. That's crazy. So, uh... Oh. He's a big guy. Oh, he's got... Oh, man. That's crazy. Watch yourself, watch yourself. Yeah. Oh, Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. What in the heck? What have we done? She's alive. It's insane. Okay. Uh, just on the on the ground, we just want to go a bit more, a bit full bar and see. Okay. We'll, we'll, can, can we hold it? Yeah, you hold it. Let's see. Let's see if you can hold it. No, I, I don't think that's. Uh, okay, just that's not a good idea. Okay, no, no, no. I in front. Just to see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't hold it. No chip. I mean, you have freaks. Yep. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> wow. Wow, look at this, it can also turn. That's awesome, man. Brakes are good. <laughs> no way. 
It's ready to fly, man. That's crazy. What That's crazy. Like huh? We don't need gear, huh? Yeah, we totally, Just like that? No. Nah, totally need gear. It's, looks got a, it's got a shovel on it. It's on a sled. It's on a sled, right? Kind of looks good from the side. I know. Yep. There you go, your speed brakes. Yeah, my speed brakes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you have it. She's ready for the maiden. Uh, it's stable on the runway, and we checked the CGE multiple times. So the next video is going to be the maiden flight, and I am very excited and nervous at the same time, but I have a very good feeling about this one. So stay tuned for the maiden flight video very soon, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Let's go.